You see there the seven marks, and just for my own convenience, I have put there two black marks so that I can easily see the moment that I have to start my timer and the moment that I stop it. There are so many lines, I may get confused if I don't do that. And we're going to time this together. And we'll see how these objects, how long it takes for them to go through. I will start with my one eighth of an inch diameter. I have one here, tweezer. I release it at zero. Three, oh, oh, you can't see that. You should see that. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, look how beautiful it's working its way through. You see, it's building up. See that, you see that nice air bubble at the top? It's going very slowly, but just wait. When it has broken through the surface, there it goes. No! One centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter. No! Okay, what is that? <laughs> Nothing. What happened? I didn't see it. I want to do another one. What, did I did I clean did I erase it? How much was it? 5.93. Keep that in mind. It's nice to see whether they reproduce actually. Okay, there it goes. No. 1 centimeter. Two centimeter, three centimeter, no. 5.66, so that shows you the uncertainty in my timing. So we had a 5.93, and we have now a 5.66. It's not so bad, it's 5.9, 5.7, timing error a tenth of a second. My timing error could be a little bit larger than a tenth of a second. You don't have very much time. So now we go to the 5.30 seconds. Okay, 5.30 seconds. It takes some time to break through the surface, isn't that funny? Because a thin film has formed on the surface of the syrup due to its exposure to air. It's wonderful, huh? it lets us wait patiently, but now it goes. There it goes. Now, one, two, three, now. 3.80, is that what you have? It's going to be tougher and tougher for me. Three sixteenths of an inch. It's actually a good thing that it stays for a while at the surface so that I can get ready. Really, that really helps, doesn't it? If you do this in water, it goes... <laughs> you don't even see it. Come on. There we go. No! No! So you see, that's very hard for me, and so I could easily have a substantial error. 2.69. And now we have the quarter inch, the real big one. I have to do that again. I don't trust this at all. It went, it went through the surface too fast. I can't do it very accurately. What was the first number, by the way? 1.68. And this is 1.40. 1.68 and 1.40. So you see, I wasn't kidding when I said that my uncertainty could easily be point.